Policymakers in the UK are beginning to engage with the idea that access to food, in particular fast food, is a contributing factor to the prevalence of overweight and obesity in children. We were looking to investigate if there was a relationship between access to food outlets and childhood obesity within Leeds. It was a collaborative study with the research team here at Leeds Beckett and Leeds City Council. There was just over 13,000 children included in the study where we um, objectively measured their height and weight to calculate their BMI to determine their obesity status. And we worked with Leeds City Council to determine the location of all the different food outlets in the city. Our focus was looking at takeaway outlets, supermarket outlets, and all other outlets which we categorise into the collective term retail outlets. A really unique and novel aspect of the study was that we actually investigated this relationship in three different environments. Those environments being the home, which were a two kilometre radius around every child's residential address, their school, similarly, which was a two kilometre radius around their, their secondary school, and also their commute. So how the, how the child actually got to and from school and any food outlets that they were exposed to on that journey. Our results provide very little support for the current interventions being implemented within, within the UK. We found no association between the prevalence of overweight and obesity and access to the three types of food store included within our study. So children living within close proximity to a supermarket, to a fast food outlet, or to what we have termed a retail outlet, were no more or less likely to be obese than children not living within close proximity to those outlets. This research is consistent with the evidence base such that there was a higher prevalence of fast food outlets in the more deprived areas of the city. And we also know from the evidence base that there seems to be, the prevalence of obesity seems to be higher within the more deprived areas of the city as well. The interesting finding that our study adds is that the distribution of supermarkets and retail outlets were patterned in the same way such that the most deprived areas of the city, yes, they had more takeaway outlets, but they also had more supermarkets and more retail outlets compared to the more affluent areas of the city. So there are two key implications from these research findings. The first is that mere proximity to a food outlet does not seem to be predictive of childhood obesity. So some of the current interventions which are being proposed in the UK, in particular zoning laws around schools, are very unlikely to be effective because our study clearly shows that children living close to these outlets are not more or less likely to be obese than those that don't have them within their immediate environment. The second consideration from this evidence base is that future policy recommendations should consider the whole food environment and not just focus on fast food outlets. This is really important. The fact that in our data we found no association with proximity and obesity status, it suggests that consumption is more important. So we need to understand what people are actually purchasing from these food outlets and see if that triangulates with obesity status. So for example, you can buy high energy dense food from all the three types of food outlets included within our study but you can also buy healthier alternatives. So I think it's really important that as an evidence base, we begin to understand the triangulation between exposure, consumption, and obesity. Following on from this, the next piece of research which we are currently undertaking is to begin to triangulate exposure, consumption, and obesity. So we're really trying to understand the purchase decisions of children once they, they are in these outlets and beginning to understand the decisions in relation to healthy food choices and unhealthy food choices in the different types of food outlets across the city.